Hey everyone, welcome to Nat One's Tabletop Tavern. My name's Sarah, Amanda, Mickey, and Thomas. Here, you will get to watch us play all sorts of different board games, card games, and pretty much anything that you can play on top of a table. You will get to watch us play the tabletop games for the first time, which means as we learn, you will too. Adventure with us through the ups and downs, the ensuing fights, and me winning almost every game against these three. Asterisk. So tune in every Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time for new episodes of Tabletop Tavern. This Justin, what? the siblings at Now One Live are gonna play Speech Breaker. Speech Breaker. <laughs> okay, so. I have never played this before. Mm -hmm. Me neither. The reason why I did that is because that is actually how we're going to be doing this. Okay. So you are reporting live from the scene. Oh man. All right, so <laughs> on your return as a reporter, you put on your headset. You press the button on the microphone shaft, <laughs> shaft. <laughs> to start the timer. You'll hear a breaking news sound and the light will start flashing. Begin by saying, reporting live from the scene, flip over the top card and read it to yourself quickly. Don't forget that the timer has started and don't let your teammates see it. Um, describe the scene out loud to your teammates immediately. So, mm -hmm. it gives you like a person, place, and like, who, what's happening, and where. Okay. Okay. Um, you describe it as out loud to your teammates. May not say any of the words on the card. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, use the full 30 seconds to get as many clues to your teammates as you possibly can. Remember to hold the mic as close to your mouth as possible. After 30 seconds, a static sound will occur, and the light will turn off, and you must stop reporting. It is now up to your teammates to say who the, the report was about, what the person was doing and where they were doing it. This is not gonna end well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then you get a point if they're able to guess the, all three. Cool. Okay. So I think one one go around each and then yeah. should be good. All right. Let's see one of the cards. Did you get that an idea? Yeah. I don't mind going first. It actually says the first person, the last person to forget what they talked about is the first person to go first. I'm pretty sure I do that on a regular, but. And do the colors matter? Um. It doesn't say anything about the colors, so okay. No. So I can't specifically say anything that's on these cards. Correct. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're going first? Sure, I'll go first. Let me get my Hold on, people. I'm getting ready to go live from the <laughs> scene. <laughs> what do we have to say? Live from the scene? Mm -hmm. Is this one again? Or something? I they, they loop around your ear. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> gonna have to take my glasses off. Hold on, people. I'm a real reporter, so I have to get my hair out of the way. It's gonna screw you up. Mm -hmm. You'll see here in a moment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Reporting live from the scene. <laughs> This is Amanda. I am seeing this man working on the lines and they bring their powers to the house. And But he had to stop because he saw these beautiful birds and he wanted to cuddle with these baby birds. But he only could do it if he was up in the sky in the stars and moon. <laughs> this is really hard. My palms are sweaty. <laughs> Literally, can you see it? You can see my handprints. <laughs> did you make it all the way through? Did you do I did. Like I got. Up? I did. Oh my God. Good luck. Who? Okay, so some dude working on power lines. Uh-huh. And then he was distracted by some birds. <laughs> Wanted to cuddle them. Wanted to cuddle the birds and then something about space. But like moon and stars and everything. Space, yeah. <laughs> space. Space. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> what are those people called? <laughs> what is that job? Uh, you mean the power line bird loving space? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who, what, where? I think they're just engineers, aren't they? No idea. No, they're electricians. Okay. Electricians. What? Nature watching? Bird watching? Uh, 
And where? In Bird loving. <laughs> space. <laughs> in space. Do we know anybody specific that works on power lines? I think it's just electricians. Okay. Obviously. But I mean, like, is it in reference to some, like, a real person? Because there's a lot of, like, actual people oh, marked on who. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. So it was an electrician. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nuzzling newborn chicks. What? In a space shuttle. What? <laughs> Just saying. So we were all, we were there. Like, we, you got, we got the electrician. I right. We got the impressed. electrician and we were joking around about him being up in space. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So. Okay. Your turn, brother. Now remember, you can't look at it until you're reporting. That's what's crazy. Yeah. You can't pre-plan what you're going to say. Right. Yeah, and yeah. then, yeah, my brain totally slowed down. <laughs> I know. I got into a good rhythm at the end, but. This goes on like this. Yeah. No. No, no other way. Other way. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Those go over your ears. That sucks. No. <clears throat> Man, that's how they used to be. Those now we're going to have to say reporting live once it cues you in. <laughs> From the scene. <laughs> Reporting live from the scene. Oh, shit. <laughs> A man in the mountains <laughs> who is going down some slopes decided that he needed to bring together some felines Cats? Uh -huh. that were running amok In the mountains, fuck. <laughs> There's a man <laughs> going down the mountains of snow skiing. Right. I assume. Okay, so. And he likes cats. <laughs> Some random man. I didn't, this cat loving man. man. I cat loving man. Didn't get to describe the where. Oh. 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 Okay, so was he skiing in the cat skills? So who is a skier? What would be something oh. with the cats? Oh, skiing with mountain cats, bobcats, mountain lions, snow tigers. Okay, yeah, I have no idea. No uh, idea. I should have done this differently in the beginning. So the who was a snowboarder. Oh, okay. The one was hurting cats. Hurting cats, not hurting. Okay. Hurting. Why yes. would somebody hurt cats? Why would what? somebody nuzzle newborn chicks on a space shuttle? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Very true. And the where was a post office. So after I said that this man was going down slopes on a mountain, I saw a post office. I was like, oh fuck, how do I explain this? <laughs> you wrote all the way down to post office. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All right. <laughs> Reporting live from the scene, it's Sarah Rand. Reporting live from the scene. That's the part I'm most nervous about. All right. Reporting <laughs> live from the scene. All right. Oh, God, they made me anxious. <laughs> I know, right? I told you. I was like, <laughs> oh my God. Because we're not people, yeah. We're not reporting live from the scene. <laughs> right? We're not doing that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> reporting live from the scene. I don't like that one. <laughs> Okay, okay. So there's a person who likes to bang a certain instrument. <laughs> but they're not banging it right now. <laughs> they're not banging it. <laughs> they're spreading their arms <laughs> out wide. Maybe going to do a downward pose and they're in a right. <laughs> I think it's a drummer doing yoga. Downward dog pose, maybe. Drummer she said some kind of downward yoga. poses. This <laughs> is what you actually <laughs> said. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Drummer doing yoga. Drummer doing yoga on a roller coaster. On a roller coaster? Yeah. Okay. The last thing she said was in a ride. So it was like, oh, oh. God. <laughs> uh, yeah, drummer doing yoga on a roller coaster. It was a drummer who was stretching oh. on the tilt a whirl. <laughs> That's specific. Damn. Now we like to do this when we're done. Give me a song. Um. Well, Katie was just singing Bastard Boys, but Bastard's back. 
Backstreet Boys. Wow, that's a good one. But I sing it. I did sing it one. I can show you the speech breaker. Speech breaker. So with Speech Breaker, essentially what happens is there is a deck of cards that are shuffled and then placed in the center. One person at the table will put on the headphones and then when they're ready, they'll push the button and pick up a card. Do you speak into a microphone that plays back into the headphones with a delay while you're trying to report some sort of incident on uh, listed on a card without saying what the subjects are specifically, then your teammate uh, has to guess what you're talking about. Speech Breaker is really cool. You have headphones that you put on, and as you can probably hear, when you talk into it, it repeats what you say out of the headphones. What that does to your brain is really funny, and you're trying to get the other people to guess what who and where I think are like the three things. It is hard guys. It is like super hard to play. These things are crazy. I feel like this one is not necessarily like to win uh, though you can definitely set it up like that. But for us, it was just for fun. Just going around in a circle and uh, seeing what shenanigans come up. Um, for this game, I honestly would only give it like a five out of 10 or a six out of 10. It was funny and we had fun and whatnot, but the card was a little bit too random for me. And I feel like there wasn't enough structure around the game. I mean, really fun. It's fun, little gadgets. And the packaging was crap. As you can see, this isn't a Ziploc bag because it came with a box and this was like showing through. It's like, oh, cool, but it was twist tied in there. Well, there's cards and stuff. So as you can imagine, once this is out, now you have a big hole in your box. Six out of 10. Overall, I'd give this game possibly a three, maybe four out of 10. I don't think any of us were even able to make any points because it was so confusing. Um, it's really difficult to get a point in that game. It did make us laugh. It was funny. Thank you guys for joining us on today's Tabletop Tavern. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Let us know what you thought in the comments below and let us know what new games might be coming out that you'd be interested in seeing us review or play. Also follow along on our life journey by checking out our website or social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, or in and Instagram. All links are down in the description below. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And we'll see you next week on Tabletop Tavern. <laughs> <laughs>